Evening, everybody. Hello. Can you listen to me? Josue, Ingrid. Hello. Jennifer. Good evening. Good evening. Do you Hello. listen to me clearly? Hello, Catherine. Margarita. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yeah, clearly. Yes. Okay, very good. So that's important. Okay, good so. Evening. Hello, good evening, Ingrid. I can see Joshua here. Hello there. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, uh, recién, recién acabo de salir de trabajar. Okay. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Ah, ahorita estoy en la calle. Ahorita ya voy para la casa, pero estoy en la calle. All right. So Griselda, I can see Griselda. Jacqueline, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So we're gonna start in a couple of minutes, okay? Hello. Eh, a mí me ha costado una actividad. Which one, Margarita? En la sección 2. Ajá. Eh, es la actividad sobre el listening de eh, uh, en, Entonces, eh, no le entiendo y trato de escribirlo, pero me sale mala. Mm, well, mm, try, try to, I don't know, I don't know what's the problem with it. Uh, but you're talking about, let me see. Which, what is the activity? What number is the activity? The last video in the platform. Se section three. En la sección dos, no, la penúltima. No, sección dos. Section two. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see. Give me a second, please. Section number two, the last part. Yeah. Ah, but you're talking about the mid, no. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna see it. Don't worry. So I'm trying to get it. Okay. Okay, almost done. All right. So you see this one, right? Next to under prepositions. This one? This one. So we're gonna see the answers a little bit quickly, okay? And so that you can check them. Now we're going to see the answers. Now look at the answers. Mm. The books are in the back. That is the, the first one, right? Now I, I will include them in the chat, okay? That's the first in the back. In the second one, next to the television. That's the second one. Okay, I will share them quickly because we need to advance with the topic we're in church of working tonight. Uh, under the table, that's the number three. No, under the newspaper. Under the newspaper, that's number three. Number four, 
behind the desk. All right, behind the desk. The next one, let me see, it's about a uh, purse. Is that right? So now you got all of them, right? So, uh, okay, it's on the purse. It's like that. Now, you can check it later. Yeah, so you can check them later and, and see what's going on with it, okay? Now, hey, we're gonna we're gonna work a little bit in the topic we need to study tonight. That is section number three. That's section number number three, right? And remember this. Uh, I mean, this week you're in church of working in the midterm. I told you that that is the most important activity we are in charge of um, accomplishing, to, I mean, uh, this it's week. Fine. Do me the favor to deactivate your microphone, please. Okay, remember, it's important to get concentrated in the class itself. All right, so, well, yesterday we started about a conversation uh, where we could study about just no questions and also uh, negative statements. Okay, so tonight we're going. I told you right about about syllable stress, which is a topic we need to study. Is it important? Of course, it is basic English, sure, but. Uh, we need to go over it. And besides that, we need to study about numbers. I hope that you have studied now. But before, let me see. Before starting, you know, you have you have a permanent and permanent homework. What is that homework? Something that you have learned lately in English. For example, cutting. What's new? Low cutting, cutting batteries. Hello. Hello. What did you learn today in English? Today I learned a new adjective. Which one? It slim. Clean. Ah, they say slim. 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 Ah, uh, thin. All right. Good. So mm -hmm. that's the new word you learned today. Okay. What about you, Goretti? Is there something new in English? In English, uh, um, the. Uh, the pinky bag. Had <laughs> a piggy bag. new so for me. Yesterday we talked about, <laughs> the, about the importance of it's having a piggy bag. Uh huh. Okay, good. So, but. Okay. Uh, only uh, one word um, then? The. The. Ah, only one. Okay. No, I mean, tell me, it. If you have learned more, just let us know about it. Um, the. Bueno, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. The syllables and the first, eh, el acento en, en la primera, uh, la segunda sílaba. You were, you were studying about uh, syllable, syllable stress. Syllable stress. Uh, stress is, is, is acento. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Goretti. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. Juan Antonio, what did you learn today? Juan Antonio, hello. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Let us know about something new. Um, um, I, 
I learned two two words. Two new uh, words. For example, um, ah, uh, uh, hello everyone. Como saludar a todos. Oh, okay, now hello everyone. Two words. Two words, all right. So let me see, I saw Henry over here. Henry, are you there? Everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Juan. I saw Henry. Henry, are you here? Anxiety, Margarita. Anxiety. Margarita, I, I can see that you have learned some, some new words. Okay. It's oh, well. Um, I was learning the book. No sé cómo va ahí la pronunciación, pero creo que <laughs> quiero darme <a> entender. <laughs> Este, y encontré esta palabra que eh, eh, me, me cuesta pronunciarla y, uh -huh. y hay bastantes palabras que también van con este mismo. All right. Anxiety. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Now, well, we're going to start with the class tonight. Okay, we're gonna see something here. Hopefully we don't face any problem. Okay, remember the topic for tonight's about syllable stress. But besides that, we're gonna study a little about number and ages, right? Number and ages. Now I have some, um, some links that we're gonna use tonight so that you can have access to them. Okay, well, I will share them with you later. We're gonna see the video first. We're gonna check something over here. Now, as you can see, we're gonna we're gonna go over some number first, and later we're gonna see the uh, or we're gonna notice about the word stress. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right. So let us listen. Let me know if you're able to listen to it. Okay. Mm. I don't know. It seems as if. Let us wait a little bit. Do you listen to it? Hello, do you listen to it? No. No, no. you don't. Okay, no. No. give yeah. me a second, please. Give me a second. Well, I will try to share it once again. I don't know if I am facing some problems with it, but we're going to try it once again, same time, okay? Now, you see the video, right? Do you see it? What is this number? No, number and age. Number and age. Number 11, right? 11. Yeah, 11 wow. then. What number is this one? 12. Uh -huh. 13. 13. 13. 14. Okay, so I will try to play the video. Okay, and we're going to listen to it. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to um, convey I, I meaning. <laughs> <laughs> and we will learn now. I think this guy is like sleepy tonight, right? <laughs> it's slow. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. Let me see. Ah, it's because of this one. It's Let, me see. Let me see. I think this one will be all right. <laughs> how the rules are in order to complete meaning. 
There are two very simple rules no. about no, yes, war right? stress. Number one, one war has only one stress. One war cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13. Pay 30, special attention to that one. 14. 40. 15. 50. 16. 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30. You'll have you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. All right, I will stop it out right here. Now, and according to the rules that God presented, we, we need to be clear on the way to pronounce numbers. Okay, so you would say 11, 12, but when we get to third, what is the transition of this one, people? 13. 13. Ah, yeah, all right, I say 13. 13. Thirteen. This one? 14. 14. 14. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16, 16, 16, 16, Now, but when we get to this part, which is the one that I could notice is we say 30 or we say 30. This one, people. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30
talking a little about the word stress. No, bien, ahora. Okay. Now, and we have like certain vocabulary here to notice, right? So we're going to listen to like to think new words. We have British and American, and the one that we are um, interested in learning is about the American. Feedback. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you listen to it? Feedback. Feedback. Ah, okay. Feedback. So we have new vocabulary here. Now, what's feedback, people? Listen to this one. Yeah. Little, little. What do you listen? Little. 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 Now, in the previous one, give me a second. Over here, where, where do you notice is the stress in the word? We say little or little. What is the right? Little. Listen, listen. Little. Uh -huh. Where is the stress? The word stress. In the first. In the first, say Lee, Lee, over here. All right, pretty good. It's okay. okay. Little, right? Listen to the next one. Participation. Uh huh. Where is it? Where is the stress? Participation. Say, participation. No. Uh -huh. It's participation. Participation. This is this one, right? So listen to the next one. But Again? let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, do me a favor to, to, to mute your microphone. Thank you, people. Thank you, because now this is important because we need to listen to it clearly. And identify and identify the, the word stress. Listen to this one. Replace. Aha. Uh -huh. Where is the stress? Where is the word stress in this word? Right. Re? Re replace. Replace. Over here? Replace. Excellent. How many syllables does it have? Well, it actually it has two. Replace. Replace. Play. Listen to the next. Location. Mm -hmm. What do you notice in this word? Do you, here? Mm. No, do you do you listen? Location. Where is the word stress? Not much. Location. Location. Uh, listen. Sec last time. Location. Okay. Where? Locate. Okay. Over here. Good. Yeah. Next one. Amendment. 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 Okay. Amend. Amend. Excellent. Amendment. Next one. Remember. Mem. Mem. Great. Now you got it, right? Listen to this one. Symptom. Symptom. Sim. 
Don't. 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 Sam. Sam. This Wait, one? Uh, Pet. De nuevo, por favor. Pet. Please again. Regret. 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 All right, very good. We're almost done with it. Object up, up, Jack. objective. All right, Jack, Jack. Objective. 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 Okay. Embed. 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 All right. Excellent. We're almost done. I think we're missing only one. Motif. Motif. You. Fifth. Fifth. Great. And this is going to be the last Capital. Cap. 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 All right. Excellent. Now we are going to stop this part. We're going to stop this part. And we're going to move to the next one. So we have some numbers in here. And you know, numbers are like quite important, right? So we have different numbers. We have ordinal numbers. We also have cardinal numbers. And this is the time to start talking about it. Okay? Look. In English, we have two families of numbers. There are two main type of main, okay? Main type of numbers cardinal numbers the ones that start with one two etc and they are used mainly for counting and, but we also have ordinal numbers and they start like first second, second and etc and they are used mainly for putting things in a sequence Okay, so we're going to start with cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are normally used when you count things. Example. Uh-huh. Can you read it? I have two brothers. I have two, I have two brothers. How many? Two. two. Okay, two. so where are we counting? People in this case, right? And know here? Yes. There are 50, there are 51 days in January. All right. How many? How many days in January? 51. Ah, now 51. Where, are we, where are we doing? We are counting days. Count things. Now, you also use cardinal numbers when you give your age. Uh -huh. And if somebody asks you how old are you, what is the, what, what would be your answer? How old are you? I am 50. I, I am 50. I am 33. I am 40. I am 20. I am, I am, I am, and I am. So what are we counting? Years. Years. Yeah, years. we're counting years, right? So years. cardinal numbers. Once again, my sister is 27. You see? Counting years. 27 years. We also use cardinal numbers when we need to provide funk number. And we already studied about this last time. Okay, we say uh, our funk number is? Our number is uh -huh. 263 All right, what are we doing? Giving funk number. And also, Key. when giving years, she. <laughs> Was born in how do you 1975. say this year? 
1975. America was discovered in 1492. You see, 1492. 14, so this 18, is the way. 92. Yeah, this is the way we use Shh. cardinal numbers, people. Now, notice we divide the years into parts. Okay, this is uh, this is the way we form. Uh, here we say 19, one part, 99, second part mm -hmm. for the year 2000, and on we say. 2000, 2001, 2002, etc. So far so good? ¿Todo bien hasta el momento? 2010. Yeah. So far so good with numbers? Yes. Um, uh, no, it's clear for me the, uh -huh. the difference ordinal or cardinal. Ah, okay. So, uh, yeah, so cardinal numbers are the ones that we say like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but uh -huh. we say ordinal numbers, we say primero, segundo, tercero, etc. Yeah, the uses is, is confused for me. Uh, the use is confusing. Okay, so be uh -huh. clear that with cardinal numbers, we can count things. We oh, give, uh -huh. yeah, give your age, age. give your phone number, uh -huh. give years. Okay. So, okay. So, but what are okay. what about ordinal numbers? You can normally mm -hmm. create ordinal numbers by adding th or at the end of the cardinal number. For example, we have uh, when we we use them when giving a date. You know, a date, mm -hmm. right? Uh... My first day is on the twenty seventh of January. 27. 27 of January. Yeah. Now, the other one is put things in a sequence or in order. For example, Liverpool came second in the football league last year. What are we doing? Well, we are just giving the order or the sequence in a, in a football league. Then we, we use it to keep the floor of a building. His mm -hmm. office is on the 10th floor. Okay? In el décimo piso. Okay? When you are having birthdays, he had a huge party for his 21st birthday. When you refer to country. Okay. Pareciera que sí, creo que el teacher se fue un ratito. Yeah, but can you listen to me now? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, no. sorry. Sorry, because I had some problems, but I, 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 I think I can solve it now. Well, we were talking about these numbers, right? So you are going to see one video over there. Perdón, teacher, le preguntaba si... El número cardinal se convierte en ordinal con agregarle th. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Like, for example, you have 10 th. You have, okay. but not with, for example, you have two. Two, you don't, you don't, uh, no. With first, second, and third, it's different. Mm -hmm. no is what, yeah. second? First, second, and third. Um... Okay. Uh, don't Only worry. Three? Yeah, no, you can you can have some review in this in this uh, video, and also we have some. There's a list, right, of <laughs> cardinal numbers in English. Now this one. One, two, two, three, three, four, five, five. Six, 
Pretty good. Okay, instead of saying 100, you can say 100, right? So, but you have more, more information in here that you can study, right, by your own. We're not going to go over them directly because, well, ordinal numbers, you know, I, I'm just presenting ordinal number for you to get an idea because later you are going to study about them. So uh, do me the favor to study them so that you, you can like have more, more ideas on the way to use ordinal and cardinal numbers. So what have we studied so far? We have studied about uh, the word stress and also about numbers. Okay, and over here, I will play some, some numbers so that you can um, listen to this exercise and tell me what you listen to. So, what number do you listen to? 30. Uh -huh. 30. 30. This one? 30. No. No? 30. No. What number do you listen 40. to? 30. 30. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Yes. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Fifty. Uh -huh. No. Fifty. Fifty. Again. Twenty. 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 Ten. Yes. Yes. Ten. Seventy. Ten. Seven. Ten. Seventy. 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 One hundred. Cien. One hundred. Fifty. Cincuenta. Forty. Quarenta. But what number is this one then? Thirty. Trenta. Thirty. This is trenta. Okay. Thirty. Forty. Forty. Ninety. 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 Okay, now how do you say this number? Ten. Ten, ten, twenty, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, 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 so let me see. I think I have some extra info about word stress. So, you know, we're talking about word stress, we're talking about numbers, and we are just having a very general review, okay, about both 
topics. And over here, well, I have like some uh, some examples about stress on first syllable, and we saw uh, this one, for example, we say. Present. 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 Export. 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 Good. Now, how many syllables do we have? Two. Two. Now, what about this one? It's because, you know, you can see over here we have nouns and over here we have adjectives. Okay. Now, listen to this one. It's the same present. Lender. Clever. Happy. Listen. listen and repeat, please. Present. Export. China. Table. Present. Slender. Clever. Happy. Okay, what do you listen to? Do you listen to it like clever? Listen once again. Present, export, China, table, present, slender, clever, happy. Now, it was the way you listen to this one. Clever. All right. Clever. 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 Now, what is like? What is the rule over here? We most most of the nouns that have two syllables, you uh, identify like the stress word at the, in the in the first syllable. Okay. Same happens with adjectives. Present. Slender, clever, happy. Second one, stress on last syllable. Now this is this is this is different because we are talking about verbs. What is this one? Noun. What is this one? Adjective. What is this one? Verb. Listen, because over here present. We don't say present. No, we say present. Why? Because over here we have a verb. Se dan cuenta cómo puede cambiar, digamos. Eh, de, de la pronunciación y el estrés o el acento de la palabra que nosotros lo decimos como un nombre suena de una manera pero si lo ocupamos como un verbo miren present export decide begin all right so it's different it changes the, the meaning right okay so si nosotros decimos Present. This is a present. Un regalo. Okay. Significado es un regalo. Present. También puede significar que la persona está presente. Pero si lo usamos como un verbo, es como decirle a alguien, por favor, presente algo. Present. Export. Decide. Begin. Listen. Present. Export, decide, begin. What did you listen to? Present. Export. Export. Decide. Begin. How many syllables do we have over here? Present. Two. We have pre present. Present. Export. Decide. Decide. Begin. Begin. Okay. Begin. Now, there are many two syllable words in English because meaning in class change with a change in stress. The word present, for example, is a two syllable word. If we stress the first syllable, it is a noun. It's a gift. Miren lo que les decía. Yeah? Tiene significado de un regalo. Or an adjective opposite to absent. O lo opuesto a ausente. But if we stress the second syllable, it becomes a verb. ¿Ve? Si le ponemos el, el acento en la segunda sílaba, cambia. Ya es un verbo. Es ofrecer a alguien. To present. 
expert in for contract object. Now, we're ending in IC. For example, we have, listen to the way- Graphic, graphic. geographic, geologic, television, revelation. Uh-huh. So we're uh, ending in IC. Uh, are going to, we're going to identify this person at the beginning, right? Or in a previous syllable, like in geographic, graphic, geographic, geologic, television, revelation. Now, listen to it once again, then you are going to pronounce. Graphic, geographic. Geologic, television, revelation. Okay, what do you listen? Geographic. Geologic. Television. Television. Revelation. Revelation. All right. So, for a few words, native English speakers don't always agree on where to put the stress. For example, some people say television, and others say television. Another example is controversy or controversy. So, it all depends, right? So, stress on an antepenultimate syllable or the third form. And like, for example, N in C Y P Y P H Y N G, democracy, dependability, photography, geology, critical, ge geological, listen. Democracy, dependability, photography, geology, critical, geological. Okay. So, and there are some more, more examples so in here, like uh, compound nouns such as blackbird, greenhouse, for compound adjectives like bad tempered, or fashion, etc. And we have uh, understand, overflow. Blackbird, greenhouse, bad tempered, old fashioned, understand, overflow. What do you listen to? What do you listen to? Black bear. Okay. Green house. house. Green house. Green house. Green house. Green Understand. Understand. Yeah. Overflow. Uh, now, hey, uh, I encounter this speech quite interesting so that we can, you see, you have vocabulary, pronunciation, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. You have a lot of information to study in this speech. Okay. Now, any questions so far? Any questions so far? No questions? No. no. So we're going to try to finish by no. working in the platform, okay? Because we're missing like, like 10 minutes more, right? So be ready. Be ready, please. Okay, so syllable stress. We already saw this, this video. Um, well, we're going to see something else about numbers. Okay, we didn't see this video. And uh, well, it's quite good to have some review about it. Listen carefully. Numbers and ages. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. 
Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now, let's practice express. Okay, now, as you could notice, we have topic that we have been studying lately, like, who's that? He's my yeah. brother. He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. He's cute. What's his name? What's his name? James. James. We call him Jim. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? How old is he? How old is he? He's 21 years old. He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. 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 Yes, I bet. What, I what bet. does it mean when you say I bet? How do you say I, I bet? No, no idea? Why don't you stop the internet and get it? Look at the internet, okay? I bet he's nice. And tell me, what's the meaning? Como voy a apostar? ¿Qué apuesto? Dice ah, okay. I bet it's night. No, uh, no, no. I bet it's night. De apostar ah, algo. Ajá. Apuesto que él es una, una buena persona. He's nice. All right. Okay. So, well, let's continue because I think we're going to see some information mm -hmm. about numbers. Pay attention. My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11. 11. 12. Bookroo.com. After you report yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Great, people. So we are already finished with the topic tonight. So I hope tonight. Uh, 28. No. I, I hope that you can continue practicing numbers, right? Remember, it's important. Now, we know, for example, we saw numbers up to 1,000, right? No. Uh, let me see what's about. We saw numbers up to.
you see we have like over 10 million right so 100 101 200 300 400 so now we already know about how to say the numbers in english up to 100 at least okay and let me see because i think we still have time to check mm. Are we ready this part? We ready this part? Okay, so I think we're ready to finish, right? So tomorrow, we're going to talk about double H questions with the better B. We will continue also talking about adjectives. And later, yes, because today is Tuesday, right? Tomorrow will be Wednesday. And on Thursday, we're going to study about the midterm. Okay, midterm. So, any questions so far? Questions? What did we learn? Hey, teacher. Tell me, no. one. Teacher. Um, sí, eh, creo que yo me quedé un poco perdido en las partes donde eh, como ponía como sílabas, algo así que decía, por ejemplo, cap no sé en realidad qué era lo Ni que estábamos haciendo ahí. ¿This part? O sea, uno re, sí, repite uno, pero en realidad no, yo no capté qué era el objetivo. Ah, ok. So, look at it. Tenemos palabras. ¿Cuál ah, era toda, el objetivo? Exacto, toda, todas esas palabras. Mira, yo ah, le doy, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, acá y lo pongo a sonar, ¿Sí? oigan. Psychology. Ah, ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Es escuchar la palabra e identificar dónde está el estrés, dónde está el acento. Oigan. Psychology. Ajá. ¿En dónde escuchan ustedes que está el acento? De psychology. Psychology. Es ah. como en la, en la, en la palabra, es como la, identificar la palabra que tenga eh, la mayor fuerza. Exacto. Psychology. Ah, okay. ¿A dónde está? ¿A dónde está en psychology? Oh, okay. Está en psych, está en cology. ¿Dónde está? En cology. ¿Seguros? Oigan. Psychology. Psychology. Okay, Eso, ahora. Estamos viendo específicamente en la numeración. Exacto. ¿Cómo cambia por el hecho de dónde está el acento? ¿Cómo cambia? Exacto. Más sin embargo, lo, lo vimos en números. ¿Se Hace recuerdan que lo vimos? Que lo vemos en... Ajá. Ajá. Lo vimos en números. Pero también yo quise incluirles otra información aparte de los números. Porque los números, si ustedes se dan cuenta... Eh, lo más significativo es que, por ejemplo, de, cuando decimos 14, ah, hay que hacer énfasis en teen. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo digo 40, ah, algunos se confunden con 40 en 14. Mm -hmm. Entonces, 40, el, el, el estrés está acá en 4, pero en, en 14 está en la, en la última parte de la palabra. Ah, okay. Ya, yeah. entonces. Ajá. Ajá. Justamente ahí fue donde yo me perdí porque estamos viendo números y luego palabras y yo. Uh, o sea, ahí, honestamente, pero, ahí me quedé así, pero. Pensando. No, sí, pero no Gracias se por el. Sí, sí, sí. Gracias por aclarar ahí. Sí, no, en realidad lo que yo pretendo es que ustedes. No nos quedemos, digamos, aquí nos dan solo dos, dos reglas que sí son sumamente importantes con los números, pero también, aparte de eso, tenemos mucho vocabulario, miren, internal response, competition, adopt, o sea, y todo este vocabulario, además de aprendérnoslo, cómo se pronuncia, agency identificamos dónde está la, el acento. Si me equivoco, por ejemplo, y digo 
que está en E en G o en C, me lo pone en rojo, pero que no. Acá la parte verde ya me indica dónde está el, el stress. Entonces yo ya sé perfectamente cómo pronunciar. Agency. 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 All right. ¿Estamos bien? Teacher, entonces yo, este, se, entonces el objetivo es identificar a dónde está la mayor fuerza de voz para saber cómo se pronuncia o para saber qué significa la palabra. Porque con el, con el ejemplo de present me quedé ah, bien confundida. Okay. Tiene varios, o sea, no sé si es, depende del contexto o Exacto. depende del acento. O depende de qué, porque pues present, entonces significa muchas cosas, ¿no? No es solo que... podría ser un regalo o algo así. Correcto. Ajá, si responde alguna, perdón, responde es alguna que... regla o, es, o la palabra present es una excepción. Exacto, porque es que... cuando es usted que... dice pres present, esto es un regalo, o sea, en inglés una palabra puede tener diferentes significados. Ajá, ajá. Present es un, es un presente, uh -huh. pero también la persona está presente, es un adjetivo, uh -huh. pero también puede significar un verbo. Por favor, presente la información. Uh -huh. Entonces, Va yo se lo coloco, sí, depende del contexto, pero también de la pronunciación. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces, por pero eso... No, me... pero, no, pero no sucede eso mismo con todas las palabras que estamos uh -huh. viendo allá en la otra, en la otra página donde estamos identificando el estrés, sino de lo, que... O de sea, los números. Ajá. Ah, no, 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 donde tiene las otras palabras. Ah, no, claro. Ahí no, ¿verdad? Porque Ahí aquí no. hay diferentes, ¿ves? Hay difer mucho, mucho vocabulario que yo se lo Entonces, presento como para que ustedes se vayan familiarizando con más, con más palabras. Pero ahí, se, ahí el objetivo es buscar este, la mayor fuerza de voz para la pronunciación. Exacto. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, so nos vamos a quedar acá y seguimos mañana. Miren, les, les sí. recomiendo que sigan estudiando los enlaces. Que ¿okay? mientras más los lean, mientras más los pronuncien, mejor. Ok. Así teacher. que hoy aprendimos mucho. Digan. Este, yo estaba viendo que usted saca ahí esos ejercicios, pero mi pregunta es esta. Yo creo que voy al día con la plataforma, pero eh, yo a veces no encuentro los enlaces que usted envía donde la otra información, ¿dónde los puedo buscar? Ahorita se los coloqué en el chat. Uh -huh. Ayer envió. Copia? Sí, a usted los copia ahí en el chat. Y ya lo pasa a un documento Word y ya luego lo busca con, con más tiempo. ¿Ok? Ok. Y si no lo tengo, ¿hay alguna posibilidad que usted los envíe al grupo? Eh, fíjese que voy a tratar, ¿ok? Pero ahorita sí no tengo conectado mi, mi WhatsApp al, al, a la computadora. Pero si alguien lo puede copiar ahorita y pegarlo, pues le agradecería mucho. Está bien, yo también se lo agradecería. Ok. So, nos vemos el día de mañana. Good night, people. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good